like to play more of this game. I turned the volume up a little bit. Sorry. Just notice how quiet it was. I turned it down because I was recording another game, like, during the week. Uh, okay. It's now the time to save Detective Jowd. Okay, let's resume. So... Yes, darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Nothing. Appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. But it doesn't seem to, res doesn't seem to be responding. It's too dark to really tell though. I guess the first thing I need to do is restore that generator. Okay. Oh geez, where did that wrench go? Without it, I can't tighten the last bolt on the generator. I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Or like a ghost. Oh, rip. I've seen those things before. Some kind of tool for turning things. It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Darn, it's too heavy, won't budge. Okay, too heavy, so I gotta do something. I, do, I can't go anywhere. I can't move this. I can't go to that. I can only go here, but then here there's nothing. The big guy seems to be taking a nap here. Doubt my poultry powers are able to work him. Rest in peace, curry lover. It's kind of spooky when the girl says it. Yeah, I can't operate this. Okay. Let me let me go check the other locations. Is there anything I could do here? Or anywhere I can go from here? Wow, I wonder what will happen here. I have to look for a detective job. Should I do something about this situation first?
Not there, obviously. Maybe I can just look around for a bit. Oh, that room's completely dark. I see a figure there, it's bad. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's nothing I can do with this dude. I might need a little help with this part. Hold on. Can I go? Right, generator's been fixed. Lights back on. Awesome. Okay. Now the lights are back on. What happened here? The answer is still strata in darkness. But let's see if I can pick up some information. And shake the bat feeling I've got. Yeah, same here. One doesn't work still. Hey, do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has the death penalty, but how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. I bet that's what happened. All that debris damaged the wiring. 
Well, I think it was divine retribution. Don't be stupid. A prisoner wanted to be executed, you know? Inspector Jowd. I guess I was too late. So, when are, gonna, when are they gonna pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary, we are done. Yeah, okay. Not if I can help it. I will turn back time and save his ass. So, Detective Jad has already been executed. Looks like there was a room for that bad feeling I was getting, but that's okay. That isn't a big problem for me. But if the body is taken from the mortuary, that'll be bad. I've used my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. Okay. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it'll blow up again? Or let loose with that juice. Sh yike, shut up, man. Accidents can happen with anything after all. Well, let's just get this thing fixed. Come on. If I'm asked you to buy an accident, I'm gonna come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why me? Sounds like it's a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm, a chair that gives shot. Can I use that somehow? Okay, our person wants to use it. Somehow. Alright. Somehow. If I can use the control panel. Babe sunk a control panel. Give it a try. Some lands came on, not sure what it means. Maybe that changed the situation though. Okay. Change something. Ah! Got a shock! Yeah, hell, you got a shock. Not sure what that did. Okay. So what? go anywhere. Son of a... That's where I want to go. I need to do it again. I got in this room. Same thing here. Looks like it's just an internal phone, then two doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go to with the telephone are other phones within the building I've already possessed. I gotcha. Hello, Jode. Can you hear me? He's unconscious. Where am I? Okay, he's not unconscious. This is the ghost world. The land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd? Who's that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you two. This is getting old. Okay, give me a sec. I need to clean my glasses. Sorry. Guess I'm cleaning my glasses. I can't see with that one. Okay. Hold on. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for my new glasses to come, okay? This is my old, old pair. Because my other glasses like broke and spoiled. I need new ones, I swear. Guess I'll give that usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why I can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash? Now that I'm dead. What do I need with memories and things I don't need are just trash? Not to me, I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lin I'll try to stop your execution. Lin? Hmm. Looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. Now he remembers. I remember now about Lin, Zhao, and the execution. What about you? Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory. Or trash, as you call it. Sissel. Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry. They might also have been a very big piece of trash to me. That's alright, I guess. we will find out when you get your memory back. For now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before execution. Gotta save your ass! I promise Lin I'll save you. I don't break promises. Four minutes. This is the past. Four minutes before my death. That's right. We get to see your own execution, and then we can. We are gonna change your fate. First, can I ask you a question? Lean told you, didn't she, about what I did? Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do? Save guy like me? I don't know, but Lean believes it is. Okay, let's get started. So he's eating chicken. As his like last meal. But the guitar guy is still going on. It's clogged. I'm in position. Finishes chicken and a tomato drink or soup. So the time's finally here, huh? Yeah, I wonder how many years it's been the last time. You weren't even here yet. I never thought I will have to attend an execution. But you know, I don't know why the Justice Minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, alright. They have very strange walks. Prisoner D99, it's time. Let's go. Alright, men, I'm ready. Sorry I had to go through this unpleasant experience. What? No, we, uh... Oh, well. Guess it's all about collecting experiences for you and for me. Prepare to test. Throw the switch. And it blew up. He died anyways, but it blew up. Okay. So this is an execution, huh? Seems to me there's got to be a safer way to do it. Must be nice to have no memory like that. Makes things more interesting. I envy you, I really do. Still a laughing matter to me. 
What's an example of a failed execution, although the outcome was the same? Failed? They haven't carried on execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs and I guess it a short. So I guess that means that if I can stop the explosion... Hmm, I don't know about that. Then I'll just be executed as planned I'll still wind up just as dead. So what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came to save me, you figure it out. He's not making this easy. Yeah, he's not making this easy. He technically doesn't want to be saved. We're saving him because we promised Lin. Okay. Okay. Alright then, four minutes from now. This chair will short out and explode and you'll die. Very sad. If I can stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Could you stop the insincere comments? How's it going down there? Finished setting up the chair, we're all prepared. I see. Time please bring in the prisoner. But that chair hasn't been used long and what if? Bailey. There's nothing we can do. It's time. Alright, I'll send the guards we saw. I'll have them call when they get in position. What am I supposed to do? Do I move there or stay here? I'll stay here. Has to be something can do from this side. Okay. No? Did I already mess up? I can't die or move or anything. Oh! I'm in position. I to come and bring a prisoner to you. Got it. Go there. I don't think I got anything to do here. Let's go there. My gem grooved that pot and I get down to the sausage head. Four minutes in the future, Sachet was lying past out in the tunnel. Not knowing about execution mess, I kept digging and digging, and the guards didn't notice who was gone. I guess Crying Man's future has now changed a bit. Okay. Sissel, I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Time for the execution. If you don't execute plans, then it's gonna be a pretty tough I think I do up and do you? And the problem is I don't see a path to get there yet. Sorry about the trouble you're going for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry.
nothing there, so he's gonna just toss the spoon back. Awesome! You sure can pack it away. Detective Shi ENT reaches the critical moment. That's what I always say. And you have a young people that follows that advice to the letter. What are you gonna do now so as long as this iron bars are here, impossible escape is possible? Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a pack now. Maybe something here will give me an idea. I can't get another stuff. I'll be able to have ketchup running through my veins. Hmm, just can't see the best of laugh over that one. Maybe I didn't make a written mark. Yeah, you know what? Um, I might need to do something with that mark. Gotta get over there first. Flush it down the toilet. Be flushing things like that down the toilet. Well, what am I supposed to do? The bio basket was full. I told her, hey, clean up. Set that, but come on, really? You know what? I messed up a little bit. Give me a sec. I need to open the thing so I can move over there. I'll do it again. I'll do this again. Okay. For him to finish eating first and then time it so that I could mark his napkin thing.
Okay. Over to that side. He will come, he will see this, he will go down. And... Touch it and hit. Sure looks happy. Now that he sees old. Paper, he'll go down to the tunnel to dig. Maybe this is our chance I've been waiting for. I'm in the spoon. I'm gonna go down. Don't worry about it. So come. You ever come? My oh, I haven't found my path yet. I see my pretty clearly the path to the chair that is. What do I do? Yeah, I'm going down. I'm going down. Don't worry. I blew this up in advance. Yeah. That will do it. Power's down throughout the whole facility. No way, if the power's down, it means all the cell bars open automatically. Damn it, the internal fronts aren't working. I got a state of emergency. Now the execution can be carried out, your life is saved. You're a pretty daring guy. I really enjoyed myself. I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it true what the guard said? The cell bars open automatically? Yeah, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. The entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prison's safety. But nobody thought it would actually ever happen. So in other words, now's the time to escape if you're gonna. And anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon, huh? We'll see when we get back. Okay, let's go back to the spoon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's what I'll do. Now the execution can be carried out and Dr. Detective Jowd is safe for the moment. A new present has been born. However... Job still isn't safe from execution, of course. I guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison. Da 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 da. Yeah, I'm done with chapter eight. It's on to chapter nine, I think. It's 12 chapters, so I might finish it. I might. Now I'm back at the present, it's completely shrouded in dirt. I can't see. I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. Of course. That's only natural. With the power failure, all of the cell bars opened automatic automatically. Plus now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lean, I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. And I gotta save him. I gotta save his ass. Headed for the spoon. That dude told me to hit for a spoon and got back to the present. So here I am. He heard the bell. The bell better go back. Ah, 
Phew, I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushes toilet. That was good timing. Now to use a cover of darkness to help the back of escape. But first I have to find him. Is prisoner C7 for secure the prisoner? Looks like there are hunters in this darkness. Hope they haven't found Detective Jow. Yeah, let's hope. This is some true darkness, but luckily darkness doesn't exist in Ghost World. I can make use of that fact to help me find a detective. What's that? Those are hunters. Looks like the hunter's eyes grow red. There's the detective. This little escape is gonna be easy. Lucky I'm a ghost, you can't see me. Ah, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made the taller bell ring? That's right. Still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how do you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'll be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of Sacha's head, spoon, and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? It, this could be interesting. Let's do it. So let's be clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement supplies restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way. Once you find a safe spot for me to move, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voices. Even if we did, we have to be quiet. Don't you worry about that. I got an idea. Let's try it. See if it works. I like this much to dive right into things, even more than Lean does. Did they find me? I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just start over, right? Says cheerfully. <laughs> I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special person. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. I did hear a, some, something about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters looking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They are wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They are special glasses as you see in the dark. Hair candy things. If I enter the field of vision, they're over. It's over, I mean. So it's all about staying out of guards' line of sight, eh? Make sure you guide me to safe spots. Okay. Now about the signal one, Keith. Me? How am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what. I can sense your powers now. You what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Well, I'm impressed. Guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective sense. Mm, that doesn't sound right any somehow. Anyways, the details don't matter. Do you see this R here? Yeah, where did that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you press R, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. For example, that bunk. If you move to that spoon and press R, I'll run to the spoon. Right, let's stop escape plan. Make sure you guy with safe spots, that's all. Okay. But I read light. That's the light of, of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. Watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving, too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Okay, sorry. Howdy! Hello, Silverman Kitty, what's up? We're trying to help the deaf row inmate escape. Detective Jowd! 
middle of the night. Actually, it's not really middle of the night. It's like... I need to be careful, though. I need to... So he's looking this way now. Is there someone else here? I, I can't see. There is someone else here. Look away! Hurry up. Okay. Oh dear, there's this damn guy here. The guards are on the move, now what? Get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. I think you already know it, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, you can move with the AWDS keys. Okay. I'm not here. Goes up. There's a dude over here in the in that. How am I supposed to move if that dude is right up there? I got I gotta do something. That doesn't do anything. Detective time, yeah. Trying to save detective and not have him die. And there's now two two of these people. It's gonna be tough. I gotta time this. This area under stay of blind port for guards. Still I'm finding good spots safe. <laughs> okay. I gotta look around first. Oh my god. How many of these people are there? Okay, yeah, I'm moving down. And up. I gotta move they both go up first. Okay, I gotta wait for a bit. Oh dear. The light came back up. I can find something to distract them. Okay. I need to distract them. How?
too slow. Okay. Oh, right. I need to close the hatch again as well. Oh, this keeps falling down. Sorry. My bad. Forgot about that. I missed my timing. I need to go back again. Oh dear. Okay, not yet, not yet. Almost. Yeah. Spot safe. But is going down again so I have to wait until he goes back and then he can hide in. So the next spot's gotta be... So I can't I couldn't save. Oh damn it. I, I don't know how to get him up here though.
I have no idea how to get past the Argus. Tony can strike one guard, not the other one. Okay. Standing there. Okay, he's h hidden there. Okay. Need to wait for the dude to come back. The one on top. Because I can't move anywhere. I have to wait until the guard comes back. So he can walk to the other side. And then I'll possess him. Come on, move to the other side of the screen. That's right. Right. Okay, let me. Uh, no, no, no. Ooh, there's another hatch.
Sorry, where's the other dude again? That while I check the upstairs. Is he coming this way? He's coming this way. No, it's not. Okay, no, he's not. He's not looking this way. I'm not gonna fall. Get close the hatch for me. Okay. Oh no! I'm so close! I was so close! We were so close! I was one step away! Okay, lucky I, I'm doing this from here, otherwise I'll, I'll be so pissed. Walk, walk the other side. Come on. Okay, go, go over to that side. Go move there. There we go. Move quickly. No, 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 no. Okay. Are you over? You're in the middle of the hatch thing. You don't have to worry about being seen. Yeah, the way he rolls is so cute. Detective Jow is so cute. The way he rolls is just so adorable. Okay, the guys come in. I gotta possess his vest because otherwise I can't move. So. out over he rolls over here so i just have to be careful that that guy goes all the way there to the other side right before i call him over no 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 go oh, but i don't want to talk to you yet are not here yet. I have to wait a bit. Just, I, I don't want to risk it. Wait, two dudes are here?
comes back. Does he walk over? Does he go back anywhere? Or does that dude just stands there? I might have missed my opportunity. Hey, wait. I'll do it again. You asked for it. Say if we come this far, we did it. Great job, Cecil. <laughs> move, move, move. This generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Come on, run. Dude, we just made it. Question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to myself. You better be kidding. I still, I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I doubt anybody will, will welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lean? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escape death row comic supposed to just report into the justice minister. Is that it? Hmm, I kind of like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I better run. That'll be nice, yes. All right, so it's long until we meet again. Awesome. So now I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lean at this point. Detective Jao was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. Awesome. Contact the guard room. But Detective Jell until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. When I got to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. Hello, this is Sissel, are you there? Oh, who's this? Oh, well, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Cecil, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. If you're making the time, that is. Hey, wait a minute. Well, I am there. I am off. Hey, I don't care about your conversation. Okay, give me that. Off we go. I'm here. I am here. <laughs> On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. That our great escape pen has ended in failure. Never expect to see you here, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, my old friend. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes full of tears. There you were, baby. Just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game. Here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. 
Wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Are you gonna shoot him? It's not that I have found you, man. I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotless clean after all. Oh, come on. Thanks for coming. I want to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not getting much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? That is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess I'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right, you lost memory. You know things I like to know? Would you mind if I ask you questions in return for tonight's fun little game? Is that it? I saw it, you know? That picture you were painting yourself tonight? That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but I can't talk to you about that right now. What? Why not? Because I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lean something to hold on to for me. It's a music box. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lean's apartment. That's the only help I can give you right now. Now, I've been pointing the gun at you right now. They say he's your good friend. You were. When we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit. The top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of de his determination. His white coat. For somebody looking to get promoted to the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it were me, I'll go with a black coat that didn't show the stains. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nonetheless, nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat. And he will do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. Like send his good friend to the gallows. Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed at me right now. Is their execution really the right thing to do? At a fair trial, and that's what was decided, no problem there. But still, this is the punishment that I should receive in order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Lean believes you're innocent. She's running around right now trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there? I, I was sentenced to the death penalty to kill my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? It was 10 years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the life of a little girl. I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl. Could that little girl be lean? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back, come any closer, I'll shoot her. Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was so young then, I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, out. Are you really going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, that man might die. If the little hostage girl was in danger. Then, nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. I took his life. Lean was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called here. What I deserve is execution. Ready to go? Arms are getting tired. Got it, baby. It's time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. 
Just let me make one last phone call. It's a big favor to ask of catching my old friend. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Just so you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path. Lini is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? Um, it might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Uh, hello, everything's fine here. Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken kitchen's next door. Goodbye. Do you not recognize the voice of your hero? Oh my god. Hmm, sounds like she's in kind of some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Well, how proud would you, Cecil? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. Do you have to toy up so high? I have to be so dramatic, Cabanella? A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's anything else like it, don't throw it. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. Sorry. I can't read very well. What's this, a pocket watch? It's something in my situation is the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Sizzle. Let me just leave you one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope and no course either. Without any course, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected. But I guess I better go find Lean. I'll follow the path Detective Jeff pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office where Lean went to try and stop its execution. Ah, let's go. Um, am I gonna make it? Okay, current chapter saved. I'm done with chapter nine. This is chapter 10. Now that my assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Ling at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Jout's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Ling about it? I just don't know. This time, Lean isn't dead. The atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Ah? Uh, okay. I'm glad Lean isn't dead, but what in the world is she doing? Then again, do I really want to know? Alright, saving again. And then, uh, I'll take a little break here. Uh, so for those of you watching um, this on YouTube, watching the VODs after, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and see you in the next video.